Hi, welcome to another video with Katie Puckrick. We're lucky enough to have her in London and I've had a stash of perfumes I've been waiting for Katie to take apart and tell me all about because I just like the smell. I want to know why I like the smell. Well, I don't know if I can get deep into the psychology <laughs> of why I like smells. Of what's going on under that blonde yeah. mop of yours, young lady. <laughs> but um, this is quite a nice little collection here. Let's start off with the florist. Um, I didn't know anything about this. What's this going on here? This has just launched. It's to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of the mm -hmm. Queen. Um, they're just in store now. They've made a perfume. Florists are the only people to have the royal warrant to make fragrances for the Queen Oh, in the world. And this one's called Royal Arms. This is Royal Arms. The original Royal Arms was made in 1926 um, when the Queen was born and they are uh, re-adapting uh, re it and making it a little bit more um, more modern. Okay. And it's they've made six fragrances in Parfum only, which are available in the store oh. at £15,000. Oh, so this is the Eau de Parfum? This is the Eau de Parfum. Okay. So the Queen has one of six, oh. and it's in this beautiful antique uh, glass bottle with a diamond around the, uh, the cuff. Um, and one stays in Florist, uh, shop for the museum in the store. Uh, John Lewis gets to have one opening their new fragrance and, and they're selling one for charity. Oh, um, I see. And then this is the Eau de Parfum that we can buy. But it, it's the same juice in all of it's them. It's the same just, smell, it's okay. just there's a Parfum version um, as opposed to the Eau de Parfum. Okay, well I did... Oh, that's not it. I oh, really that like is, it. That is it. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, this one is a rose... Um, in fact, all of these fragrances we're talking about here yeah, are roses, roses. And, and this is a rose sheeper, which means it's woody, it's based on uh, supposedly the natural vegetation of Cyprus, that's what the term sheeper refers to. But it just basically means it's, it's a woody floral. So it's, it's, a, it's the, They say it's the, the rose is the base of the perfume because it's the queen of flowers. Oh, okay, and I'll take so that. Go. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. And I love, rose is actually my, one, of my it's one of my favorite fragrances. Yeah, too. it's... Um, just great in perfume. So this definitely does, it is a little bit of a throwback to classic perfumes. You can smell the crook of my arm there. Yeah. Um, and it has... I've a, been wearing this as soon as I got it. I liked it. It's lovely. Yeah. It has kind of a mossy element to it. And um, it's a very, I think it's a very grown-up fragrance. Yeah. So um, you don't have to be born in 1926 to enjoy wearing uh -huh. this. Um, although I'm sure the Queen smells lovely in it. Hopefully I'll get a chance to sniff the crook of her arm while I'm here. <laughs> you do never you, know. Do you think I you could so. arrange that for yeah, me? Yeah, no, we can get that sorted. It's fine. Um, it's oh. very regal. I love the purple and the gold of the, the label. In fact, this is the one that I will bring out of the box because oh. how lovely is that in a purple bow? Oh, that's so that nice. You your own fragrance. Yeah, this I is think very, it's quite special. It's very grand. I think it's going to be quite popular with tourists. And people coming over to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee. You know, it's um, it's actually interesting because when it first went on, it did smell very adult and very grown up, and now it's lightening up and it's smelling a little more lighter, more contemporary. So I can see where they're doing a quote of of a kind of a vintage style of perfume. Yeah, and um, it's definitely getting a little lighter. So I'd say it's um, it starts off rose. You can smell that kind of mossiness, and then it lightens up to a little more sweet fruity element so that's very what's going wearable in there. i think so moving on to oh this is the chloe <sighs> that i'm smelling this is so this soon is soon becoming one of my favorite fragrances this is a new version of the ongoing chloe series it's an eau de toilette and it's what is it a, this one is l'eau de chloe oh l'eau de chloe so the original one um was the chloe fragrances which is the rose yes yeah, yeah so it's a variation on all of those soapy sudsy uh, roses in the Chloe line because they had the Eau de Toilette, the Eau de Parfum, the um, Intense. There was the Love one, wasn't there? Just the recently. Love, but that's different. That's a whole it's different... It's a different bottle as well. And so. it's a different bottle of wax. That one is powdery and has a bit of violet. That's a whole different... I love that perfume, by the way. Mm. So this one, the Low, is a lighter, springier version, greener version yeah, of all of those, green. of those soapy roses. Um, but it still has... Sm smell me now. I love it so much. Can you smell me now? Yeah. It stands out from your arm and all the rest of the ones that you've yeah. been um, They say this is, uh, in the press notes, it was uh, walking through barefoot on the grass, uh, smelling your skin at dawn, that kind of... It's, it wow. really evokes kind what of... What a lifestyle. <laughs> walking barefoot and clean with clean feet, okay? Because yeah. there's, there's no feet. I'm not smelling feet in here. No, um, I'm not getting my feet out. But it does have that. <laughs> I'm a hippie in California, and I'm walking across the beach at five in the morning. I think it's it's probably not a cl uh, hippie. I'd say it's a trust fund yeah. um, debutante in, Calif in California. Because <laughs> it's very clean.
seeing. Now, um, a lot of um, my younger um, viewers and readers do love the clean, clean fragrances, yeah. and I think that this is actually a really nice compromise between getting into a sophisticated rose that is very fresh and clean, because some people have the idea that rose smells very adult, very grown up, mm -hmm. very mature, and this is definitely a youthful take on it. It's the citrus version of a rose almost, isn't it? I don't smell citrus in there. Do you not? There is citrus in there. Yeah, I'm smelling, you know, I'm just getting a, um, just getting the kind of a powdery soapiness. Okay. But, but that just could be me. I don't get My, powdery soapiness at all. Smell me. Yes, it smells really different on me. But you've also got some other things on there I do well. have a few other. I'm a, a little bit You're of a... You're walking soapery uh, powder. That's at the moment. But that hasn't dried down yet. Okay, to begin with, there is a there's um, there's a little lemoniness to it, yeah. and that and that goes away. Uh, this one enough. is an oldie but goodie. This isn't brand new, but we liked it. Carolina Herrera, two one two VIP. Now I have never encountered this. Um, I love this crazy little bottle. It's very bling for taking out in the evening, isn't it? Where's my? If I still went to nightclubs, I'd like to get that out in the ladies, with my. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent Touche Plat, which is what you see everyone crowded around the t the, uh, the mirrors with. That's a nice nighttime fragrance. Oh yeah. Okay, so this one is um, this one is also a rose, uh, and it's uh, it's got a little fruity quality, and it is it has a depth, and um, oh yeah, it has a little bit of patchouli. So, yeah. but it's it's what they call a fruit chili because there's some patchouli in this one. Yeah, at the end. You know, this one, at, going back to the florist Royal Arms, um, and we were talking about it being a rose chipra, it starts to remind me a little bit of uh, Clinique Aromatics Elixir. Okay. Um, I was kind of going back and forth on what does this smell like, and now I'm thinking, yeah, it has, it's because of the mossiness. Yeah. That's what it shares with it. So this is definitely the grown-up rose out of, out of the three. This is the sophisticated fresh rose, um, the Chloe Lowe, and then the Carolina Herrera 2 VIP is the fun, uh, flirty girls' night out. Yeah, it's the nighttime. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Because you don't yeah. often get um, rose for nighttime is quite hard, I think, because it can get a bit too musky and it takes away the whole like why you like rose in the first place. They, there's definitely loads of interpretations of yeah. rose. And I mean, we've got three here, completely yeah, different, yes. all with rose as a base note. Yeah, this one is pretty. I, um, you know, that's I, a little surprise for you. At this the end. little surprise for me, and then, and as you were saying earlier, it's it, it's nice to kind of pop in the purse. Yeah, it's got a good bling factor for a night out. I think. Yeah, in a clutch. Great. Yeah. So that's our rose roundup, and we'll be coming back to you with another set of fragrances soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.